This is a heads up and a health alert in terms of this new exotic tick that has invaded North Carolina. They're saying that it is an aggressive biter. And just how far has it spread? Well, they're not sure. That's the problem. And one of the reasons why I'm putting out this video, we're going to talk about some of the places it has been discovered here. They're saying that this invasive species of exotic tick is native to East Asia, the China region, and it has been discovered in North Carolina. They're saying it is an aggressive biter. It is the longhorn tick. It was found recently in Polk County in western North Carolina along the South Carolina border. It's about 90 minutes west of Charlotte. Details of the discovery were not released, but a warning has been issued just yesterday for veterinarians in the state to be on the lookout for a rapid spread. Now, this is the issue. These longhorn ticks are capable of spreading diseases, and the females reproduce without a male. That means that a single female can create a colony anywhere in the States. They're saying that it is an aggressive biter, and it frequently builds intense colonies and infestations on animals causing great stress and blood loss. They're saying that it is a serious pest of livestock in its native regions. The tick can spread pathogens among a diverse host range of which it feeds off of, so it could spread diseases from many different animals and species. But they are vulnerable to the same insecticides that are used to kill ticks that we see normally. Now they're trying to figure out just how widespread this is. They believe this came into the country via New Jersey. That's what they're saying. Once again, they're not saying anything else about this. These ticks, compared to others, though, are massive. They're pretty much twice the size. Pretty much twice the size. And they're saying that Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever are among four diseases that are most commonly associated with these ticks in North Carolina. Now, they're saying that most of these diseases that are spread by the ticks can be treated by antibiotics if they're caught early enough. And they're saying that even though this came in through Jersey, they have also been seen in Arkansas, in Virginia, in West Virginia, thus far. So if you guys hear of anything in your neck of the woods, let me know. Dabu7yahoo.com And also, make sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest updates as well as BitChute and Twitch. Catch content over there as well. Links below. Peace.